Hi, uh, foodie folks, and welcome back to Michael's Eats. Today, my first cook in this thing, the Oni Coda 16 pizza oven. Now, I've converted mine to natural gas. Uh, my coworkers got this for me for my 50th birthday. We had a party here at the house. Had about 75 people here. I did all the cooking. It was fantastic. Anyway, they knew I cooked pizza, they knew I wanted this oven, and they bought it for me, and I am so grateful. So grab yourself a healthy snack and a beverage. Let's make some pizza. All right, foodie folks. So, because I'm an idiot, I didn't actually film me making the pizza. I just filmed the pizzas going in and out of the oven. <clears throat> and so, we can talk about that. Um, some things about this oven, it gets really hot. Uh, in fact, you'll see my thermometer goes from like 750 Fahrenheit to high it doesn't go that hot so I had to buy another thermometer that went up to a thousand and thirty two degrees I think um, it cooks pizza fast and there's definitely a learning curve uh, to, to making this pizza uh, I've been making pizza inside of my oven for six months maybe even longer and I've kind of perfected it uh, the dough the taste the sauce the cooking the crispiness all that stuff but this is almost like starting over so uh, without further ado, let's go make some pizzas. All right, foodie folks, it's Father's Day. Firing up the Oni Coda 16 for the first time to cook pizza. We did uh, we did fire it up when I set it up just to uh, break it in, I guess. But look at how pretty the flames are. So uh, real quick, my setup out here, we got the stainless steel table, it's somewhat level. Here's my natural gas line. I had the line, I installed this last year for my grill. So then I just made a T for the three eighths uh, gas line and that's it. All right, folks, more to come, stand by. All right, foodie folks, this is actually my fourth pizza. I didn't videotape or record the other two. This is a pineapple and bacon. I'm not here to argue if pineapple belongs on pizza. It's my pizza oven and I'm making it. So for me, pineapple belongs on pizza. So first impression of the Oni Coda 16, it gets hot. Second, you need to practice. Uh, I've been making pizza for about six months inside, so I have a decent idea of dough and sauce and launching and blah, blah, blah. But this, there's a whole new curve because I cook an oven for seven minutes in my inside oven at 550. This takes two to three minutes and you have to turn it two or three times. So I'm gonna turn it now, stand by. Okay, you can see I turned it. You can see this side is pretty much done or almost done. And now we're gonna cook the back side. I will turn it uh, probably another uh, 90 degrees before I finish it off. Basically what I do is I bring the pizza stone up to temp about 850-ish degrees. I launch the pizza and then I put the heat on low. So the stone will cook the bottom and the heat will help cook the crust and the top. So a couple more seconds, stand by. All right, foodie folks, let's take a look. I'm gonna actually put it down over here so we can look at the bottom. Oh, nice. Let's go in another 30 seconds or so. Oh, it's so pretty in there. It's hot. So I don't know if the, the uni uh, non-contact temperature probes show hotter than 750, but I might have to get one. All right, folks, pulling it out. Let's take a look. We had some issue getting the dough out of the uh, proofing pan that I had, which is why it's not round, but still going to taste the same. Can't wait to cut it, stand by. 
All right, foodie folks, I hope you enjoy the pizza making spectacular that you just watched. Um, obviously, I didn't get uh, any film of me cutting that pineapple bacon pizza and eating it. It was Father's Day and I uh, had four pizzas to make, basically just to learn and, and play with the oven. Um, uh, the pizza was good, but I mean, there was only three of us here and, and my son, my youngest son doesn't really actually even like pizza that much unless it's chicken parm pizza. I know I should disown him, but what are you going to do? Um, ending thoughts takes a lot of practice, but uh, I'll get really good at it like I do with cooking most other things because I'm a fat guy who likes pizza. Hey, if you want to support the channel, Michael's Eats, you can go click the link down below. Teespring, I sell all kinds of cool foodie shirts like Powered by Bacon and some other stuff. Don't forget to share and talk to all your friends about how cool and funny I am. Let me know down in the comments what kind of content you want to see on this channel. What, what kind of food do you want me to make? Or do you want reviews? I'm interested. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. And uh, let me know down in the comments below what kind of content you'd like me to see. You'd like, wow. Let me know down below. Let me know down in the comments below, down in the below. Yeah, should have more coffee.